Well, KCK has found itself obviously the center of the conversation here over the last uh, week or so in this town as uh, we now well know that the state of Kansas is going to make a play for the Kansas City Chiefs and potentially the Royals. And obviously that landing spot, uh, if they have their way, would likely be out at the Legends. Uh, the mayor, of course, of the Unified Government is joining us now on KCMO, Tyrone Garner on 95.7 FM. Mr. Mayor, good morning. Thanks for being here. And uh, where's your head been at the last week here since uh, the Legends has obviously been at the epicenter of this conversation for two professional sports franchises? You know, my head's been uh, right there of uh, being at the forefront of doing what uh, we can on the great side uh, here in the great state of Kansas uh, to make sure we do everything we can to let the Royals and the chief organizations know we want them in the Kansas metropolitan area, and we're going to work hard to make sure that they have options uh, that hopefully be of value to them to keep them here. So on that front, uh, it came out, of course, in the last couple of days that you are open to a potential earnings tax that would only be paid for by those who worked in Wyandotte County but do not live in Wyandotte County. Uh, how, how would that work? Because the mayor on the other side of the state line, Quentin Lucas, he said to us this morning that uh, an earnings tax, that would be illegal in his estimation, and that an earnings tax would have to include the residents of said county. Well, I'm not sh- sure about Missouri law, um, but, you know, uh, for something to be legal, it has to be passed by the Kansas legislature. And uh, and so um, I'm optimistic uh, that uh, our Kansas legislature will see value in an earnings tax on the, the Kansas side. And I've been advocating to our Wyandotte County delegation up in Topeka that I'd like to see um, all uh, of the earnings tax um, be applied towards property tax relief and reduction here in Wyandotte County because the concern that uh, many of the residents have told me, they want the chiefs here, they'd love to have them here, but we know the valuation, uh, property valuations would increase, which, which would potentially cause a property tax increase on their bill. So mm-hmm. what's the resolution for that? Having outside people that work here but don't live here, paying earnings tax, and then using those funds uh, to bring relief to the, to the great people that love and call Wyandotte County home. But you would then, I, I guess that theoretical stream of revenue would help subsidize the stadiums, but then also additionally bring some property tax relief. So it'd be a twofold earnings tax effectively in terms of how it would be spent. Well, the, the earnings tax would be separate from the star bond legislation and any other incentives that the state of Kansas and the unified government uh, can muster that would be of value to those organizations. Mm-hmm. And so it would be a, a totally separate uh, initiative uh, that uh, I know the great folks here in Wyandotte County, Kansas Kansas have been advocating for years, even before the Chiefs and the Royals came on the radar. Um, and so uh, if we can get uh, get that passed, it'll be a win-win for those uh, those people that love and call Wyandotte County home. Would that have to go to a vote of the people if that were to be implemented? No. Again, uh, the Kansas legislature has that, uh, that, that full authority to make that happen for us. So they can implement an earnings tax for a county without any input from the county residents on any kind of a vote that is my understanding uh now don't quote me on it but that's the under that's the information that uh was relayed to me from our kansas delegation okay uh, that's gonna be advocating for this in topeka on tuesday gotcha okay so of course the special session is starting on tuesday uh mayor tyrone garner is here on KCMO Talk Radio. So uh, are you planning to uh, make your way up to Topeka here next week and and lobby on behalf of any legislation that helps brings, bring the teams out to uh, the Legends? I'm prepared to do that if I have to. Uh, I'm sure anything that, uh, anything that I can do to further uh, uh, sweetening the, uh, the, uh, the optimism and the excitement and uh, the options for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Kansas City Royals organizations to see value in Kansas, particularly in Kansas City, Kansas, uh, I'm willing to do that. How do you feel right now about what the best opportunity is for these teams and, and why you think the legends should be uh, appealing to them, both the Chiefs, but also now the Royals who say they want to talk after, you know, things didn't work out for them downtown? We'd love, you know, if I had my way, I'd love to see the Chiefs out uh, somewhere in western Wyandotte County. And we talk a lot about the legends, but uh, we've got an area right there at 435 and uh, in Walcott, just before you enter the to Missouri, great location, as well as the Legends. Um, if I had my pick, uh, I'd like for the Chiefs to look at the, the, uh, those locations. The Royals, we'd love to have Royals downtown. You know, 
It fell through on the Kansas City, Missouri side, but I think uh, Kansas City, Kansas has a lot of great locations uh, that could hopefully fulfill the needs and, and the, the desires of that organ- Rolls organization to say, we want to be downtown uh, somewhere in close proximity uh, in the greater Kansas City, Missouri area. So where, where um, like if you had your, your druthers, you had your perfect spot for the Royals, where exactly would that be? Oh, anywhere east of 635. We've got so many locations, uh, too many to count. Uh, land is cheap, land is plentiful, and like you've heard me say before, um, Wyandotte County is economic development hungry, and so we're excited. We're really excited, and uh, again, nothing's guaranteed. This has to get over that uh, that first step with the Kansas legislature, and if it, if it gets there, Wyandotte County the Unified Government and this mayor are going to be open to having a, a real conversation with uh, with those organizations if uh, they choose to have them uh, to see how we can get them across the finish line. But again, it's not so much up to the state of Kansas or the unified government or even me. Really, at the end of the day, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Kansas City Royals are going to have to make a decision that uh, they feel is best for their organization. Have you had or do you have any meetings scheduled, Mr. Mayor, with um, either teams or franchises at this point? No, um, I've just been doing my mayor thing, uh, <laughs> trying to let them know that uh, – but we're open for business, and uh, we're ready to roll out the red carpet for them. Um, and, uh, you know, I just uh, I just think there's a lot of good opportunities uh, that, that, that can be had from even having this conversation. Wyandotte County has proven that we can use star bonds effectively. Kansas City, Kansas has the number one tourist attraction in the great state of Kansas. We've uh, implemented star bonds effectively with NASCAR and also the Sporting KC. Uh, amongst uh, other things out at the Legends. And so we're ready to do business. We know how to do it. We can get it done. and But we need the help of the Kansas legislature to, uh, to get us across that path. And then hopefully uh, those organizations will see value and they want to come uh, come to the table and, and see how we can uh, at least have a conversation to see if there's any potential to, to, to get a deal done. What do you say, Mr. Mayor, to those who, uh, you know, will allege on the other side of the state line that this is nothing but border war tactics, this doesn't do anything uh, it pits taxpayer against taxpayer. How would you respond to those accusations, as I know you've heard in the last several days? You know, I, I, I would I would concur with that uh, analogy if it were true. <laughs> but uh, the fact is, is that you didn't hear anything from Kansas. You didn't hear anything from me. You didn't hear anything from any of our legislatures until uh, uh, the debate was done and the people spoke in Jackson County and Kansas City, Missouri, and they, they rejected the proposals that were given to them. And that's when uh, myself and other folks uh, at the Kansas legislature said, these teams are too valuable to lose from the Kansas City market. And so let's at least give them an option that maybe they can consider to keep them right here. We, we love these franchises. Chief Kingdom is, has been uh, in the Kansas City metro for as long as I can remember. And so I'm committed and dedicated, at least this mayor is, is to doing everything we can to keep them here. But Our, again, I want I want any of the Wyandotte County, Kansas City, Kansas taxpayers to know I'm also committed to making sure that any deals we do have value to the great residents of Wyandotte County and that I advocate for things that are not going to um, enhance the tax burden on individuals that say they've already been uh, taxed too much. So the first step is obviously the star bonds and then uh, potentially looking at something locally. And uh, you're open to that in the right situation, uh, Mayor Tyrone Garner. What else do the taxpayers of Wyandotte County need to know as, you know, obviously they're hearing a lot of things, they're seeing a lot of things, but they're looking for clarity on what this means for them as, you know, a homeowner, a renter, a taxpayer. What do you want to make sure the residents of the county know right now about what you're prepared to do uh, with these teams and how it could impact them? Well, again, I, I ran on being community driven. Um, and so I just want the, the, the individuals, especially those individuals that said they want tax relief, they don't want additional tax burdens. I'm going to fight for them. I want to do everything I can to, 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 if we get there and the Royals and the Chiefs want to come have a conversation, that we get them something that's favorable um, and advantageous to them, but also something that is of value to our, our residents here in Wyandotte County. And I'm going to fight for that. There's got to be a balance. I believe that there's an opportunity there. And, and I believe there's a good pathway forward if we look at what we've done in the past. And Wyandotte County has been successful in attracting and retaining um, mm-hmm. uh, major sports venues right here in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, Mayor Tyrone Garner, Unified Government of Wyandotte County, thank you for your time, sir. We appreciate it. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. You too. Be All good. right. Thank you so much to uh, Tyrone Garner on KCMO Talk Radio 95.7 FM.